there's no one who wants to put anyone at risk in this whole process. So we are very careful in following safety regulations. I don't want my neighbor's spray to impact my workers and I don't want mine to impact his. So we maintain our, our sprays within our boundaries if we have to use sprays. When we do treat, we are using um, pesticides that are targeted for the pest we're after. So we leave predators in place so that we don't have to treat as much. Because the more you treat, the more you put people at risk. And we're all after not putting people at risk. If I don't have a fumigant of some sort, I will be applying more pesticide. And it will be pesticides and fungicides. I'll have to have something to control nematodes in the soil after some fashion, some probably some chemical that doesn't exist at this point. But I will have to have something that does some control over that. I will have more pathogens in the soil. I can tell you that from a personal experience in spots where I've tried growing without fumigants. And those, uh, those fungicides you have to use to replace those, cost, if you leave cost out of the factor, I still have the, the thing that I've got more worker exposure because I've added more chemicals to the mix than I would under my old regime of practice. So those are just some of the things that we look at. And so it's just not all about the chemical and all about the money and all everything. It's about the workers as well. My workers are important to me and the safety of my public who I sell my trees to is important also and we are after keeping that all as safe as possible.